was a beautiful summer day. You really couldn't have asked for better road conditions. I mean, a sunny day, dry pavement. We were traveling eastbound on the Ohio Turnpike, and it was a two-lane highway at that point. When we first approached the truck, the rear trailer was fishtailing and moving erratically. I felt so uncomfortable traveling with my wife and daughter. I didn't want to be anywhere near the truck. I felt that it was a hazard. I did not want to dare pass close to the truck until the highway opened up to three lanes. I then proceeded to pass that truck. It was something that caused considerable alarm to see a truck like that. We began to approach an area of construction where the traffic was directed to slow down and move to the left. And I began to hear crash behind me. I looked in my rearview mirror, and that's when I see the Estes truck coming at me. All I can do is tell my wife and daughter that we're going to be hit, and I brace myself. I see the war uh, on television with the uh, vehicles that have gone uh, over uh, IEDs. You saw something similar with vehicles bent out of shape from the impact with truck drivers like this who need terrorists. I think it's clear that this was an accident waiting to happen. I remember the pickup truck that was ended up in front of me, and I saw his brake lights hit. I remember seeing a construction sign after the brake lights. And then when I rounded the curve, um, I saw lots of brake lights where the traffic was. So I took the outside lane on the left, and then I remember looking to my right and seeing the tractor trailer just fly by. As I see it fly by my mind, almost like a, a movie where the subway is going ch -ch -ch -ch, you know, fast, and it was a set of triples. And, and he was still going extremely fast as he hit the Covenant truck over here. The silver pickup in front of me, and they just continued to go down. His, his set of triples were, were snaking through. And I remember wheels and U-joints and axles snapped in half and flipped up. Pieces of metal, big chunks of metal that had just busted off trucks. And I almost expected 30 people dead. You know, I mean, that's this, it looked like carnage. And the impact in the car was in the, in the left rear all the way up to where Susan was. I saw her, her chest moving. I ran around the other side. And <laughs> the, the, one, the one boy that was in the front, he just had blood coming out of his nose. It, it, was, it was seriously like a drinking fountain. And he was trying to breathe. He was trying, trying to respire. <clears throat> and he was pink, so I knew he was, he was salvageable. I couldn't get the door open at that point. And I said, well, we have to get him out. We tried to kick the window a couple of times, and we couldn't get it open. He picked up a big chunk of brake that had fallen off one of the trucks and smashed the window. We opened the door. But at that point, the, the kid in the back raised his head. We didn't know he was back there. He sat up and put He put his hand on Susan. Her chest wasn't moving anymore. We pulled Matthew out. He had a good heart rate. Um, he had a good pulse. So I knew he needed, he needed ventilations is what he needed. Um, by this time, uh, there's EMS guys there. And I said, I'm a doctor, if you'd like, I can try to intubate him. And I intubated Matthew first time, and we started ventilating him. I did a neuro exam on him, and uh, he was decerebrate, uh, which um, is a positioning of his eyes and a positioning of his hands, implying a brainstem injury. Um, or at least a closed head injury with neurologic compromise. But I knew at that point there was not much else that I could do for Matthew. So I went over to check Peter. Peter, Peter? where are you coming from, Peter? Uh, Maryland? Okay, just rest right there. I have like three shaky memories of the accident. One of them is just the feel of broken glass uh, and sort of sticky. It's not an actual like anything happening I just remember feeling like that I remember like a feeling of laying on the pavement because like this I remember the heat from the sun beating down on my back and like the gravel getting in your skin and then I remember the helicopter 
And I seem to remember being like rushed into the emergency room and asking about Matthew and mom, and I don't remember an answer. I'm a chaplain. If you need me, I'll be right back okay. over here. Great, thank yeah. you. Mr. He, he came in full throttle. He, the uh, yeah. triple. He wasn't slowing down yeah. at all. He, he said he fell asleep. Okay. Rear end of the red one.